the 1980s and early 1990s, tides began to change, and a form policy is introduced after 1991 removed many economic restrictions. Industrial licensing was abolished for almost all product categories. There have been major reforms like a single window to add custom clearance. The I had settled in and GST reform simplified the taxation landscape in India. In this context, the legacy of Malanga family is survived today by Mrs. Shreta Malanga, who is granddaughter of Mrs. Swaraj Malanga and granddaughter of Bharat Malanga. Who is a fierce and confident lady. She has studied chemical engineering with MBA degree and abroad. Her ambition is to take her inherited business in the higher orbit of growth. Given her qualification, she can easily get citizenship of a foreign country and settle abroad. But something is binding her to the India of dreams. She has a vision and mission. And I'll see what I can get done here uh, as soon as possible. Then I will get back to you with updates. Yes. Okay. Have a good day. Hey, Ash. Okay. Yes. Do you see if there's any issues of compliance with your GST and this sort of office? Because, yeah, just see if you can get any help. Ethical codes 
you know, of conducts and rules. So to empower the, you know, the taxpayer is what we call like a grievance redressal mechanism. So which provides you know kind of redressal for you as well. Okay, great, great. Thank you. Thank you. That, that information is very helpful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And okay, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Anything else, ma'am? Uh, that was very helpful. Thank you so much. I'm glad to hear that, ma'am. Okay, let's be honest here. Um, how much extra legal money do I have to pay over the table, under the table, the table just to get this done? Thank you. No, ma'am. We are bound to our pledges, ma'am. We cannot take any extra legal funding. And for your information as well, uh, under the new act that has been passed out, any form of extra legal money is considered as a bribe under the prevention prevention of prevention. So part part of that, sometimes the job does bring me out to this. But under the prevention of corruption act, 1988. I am aware of that. <laughs> thank you, though. Thank so, you. Thank you, so, um, okay, then I don't have to pay you. Yes, ma'am, you don't have to pay This is really great. So, uh, thank you so much, and I will get in touch with you again. We'll keep in touch with you. Yes, ma'am. So, thank you. Okay. Have, have a great day, ma'am. You too. So, I am satisfied with the integrity the responsiveness and the experience, the overall experience with the tax department, which is why I have decided to set to set up and operate my business here in India and not invest abroad. I will set up my businesses here in India because that would make India what? A self-reliant country. I will also pay my taxes to the Indian government because this country is here today because our forefathers fought very hard, very hard for it, to build it, to create it. And me, me personally, I will fulfill my corporate social responsibility because honestly, if you look out in India, there are still so many mouths left to be fed and so many people who need a helping hand. I will invest in India because the government has a vision, a vision that focuses on total corruption-free government offices. And lastly, I will address this to you all. We as um, Indian citizens, fellow Indian citizens, we care about each other and we care about our growth. So we will vote in India and we will make India great. Thank you.